St. Mary's Brad Waldo was named Player of the Week in the West Coast Conference after helping the Gales win eight straight. The senior forward averaged 24 and a half points and 10 rebounds, both against San Diego and BYU. And Thursday, he will be put to the test as St. Mary's battles against the league's best in Gonzaga. Hello and welcome to Inside the West Coast Conference. I'm Shay Pepler and joining me to discuss the matchup and more is our WCC insider Steve Croner. And Steve, St. Mary's travels to Spokane to take on the Zags. Is there a blueprint for the Gales to pull off the upset in this one? Yeah, I think, Shay, there's two things that uh, St. Mary's has to do. One, um, it really has to limit Gonzaga in transition. Randy Bennett, the St. Mary's head coach, made that a, a, a number one priority, not only to beat Gonzaga Thursday night, but in the Gales win over BYU last Saturday night. You gotta limit those two teams in transition, and then you have to play smart. And that by playing smart, it's taking good shots, which also then prevents Gonzaga getting out in transition. Well, the last time St. Mary's beat the Bulldogs was March 5th of 2012. Steven, looking at Mark View's squad this year, in comparison to years past, only one loss so far on their schedule. It was a close one at Arizona. What makes this year's team so dangerous? Well, I think a couple things, Shay. Uh, first, they've got two very experienced guards in Gary Bell Jr. and Kevin Pangos. In fact, Randy Bennett and Scout the, the Zags said that those guys have been there forever. So you've got experience in the backcourt. And you've got size in the front court. You've got three players, 6'10 or above, uh, DeMontis Sabonis, Shemis, I hope I'm pronouncing that, Karnowski correctly, and uh, Kyle Wiltshire. So uh, the Zags not only have experience, they have size. It's a pretty good combination to have. Well, Steve, I know we have a long way to go until March, but every year people want to take the Zags all the way in their brackets. Is this the year the Bulldogs make it to the Final Four? Shay, don't uh, count me on this. I hope you're not banking your bracket on what I tell you. Please, Steve. But no, no. I think the Zags certainly have as good a chance as anybody. Obviously, it depends on matchups. Who knows about injuries between now and the middle of March. But uh, in late January, the Zags, I think, have as good a chance as anybody to get to the Final Four. All right. We will see. Steve Croner, thanks for the insight. We'll talk to you soon. Look forward to it, Shay. Thank you. And we've got your WCC action right here as the Pepperdine Waves will travel to take on the Dons of San Francisco. Tip is at 7 p.m. Pacific only on the W.TV powered by Campus Insiders. That'll do it for this edition of Inside the West Coast Conference. I am Shay Pepler, and we'll see you next time.